What's up, guys? Welcome back to Back Road Driver. We're the Miser Brothers. Today, we're getting our Shelbys ready for the Knoxville Experiment Car Show. It's coming up this weekend, Sunday, April 18th, at the Knoxville Convention Center. We hope to see some of you guys there. Um, we've already got our gurney flap on the GT500. We've got to put our gurney flap on the 350. We're going to get decals on the GT350 so it's ready for the show. Then we're going to get them out and show them to you in the sun. These wraps are awesome. And I'll tell you what, like we've got great feedback from you guys on Kong and Zilla. It is a lot of fun to drive these around local. You can't go anywhere in these two cars without people trying to take pictures and get, waving at you and everything. It's pretty cool. It's awesome. So guys, thanks for making this possible. Thanks for watching our videos. Let's get right into it. I just want to point out how hilarious it is that a little piece of carbon fiber comes in a box this big. It's like five foot tall, two foot wide, and a foot deep. It's huge. So let's crack this thing open. It is a beautiful piece of art. There's Getting car parts in itself is fun. Opening up a piece of carbon fiber, even though you know what it looks like, it's almost more like art than it is a car part. It's beautiful. Look here. Wow. <laughs> Huge box for that. And it probably banged around in there because it wasn't packed in tight. Let's get it open. We're into our fourth layer of packaging. There's some hardware. This is Anderson Composites. You can get this uh, to match the factory, which I guess, would that be fiberglass painted? Um, I think, I think it might have been a composite, like a, a plastic of some sort. But. The carbon fiber adds just another little cool factor. Gurney flaps, what do they do? So, ooh. Look how deep this is. Look at just. It goes on and on and on. The depth of carbon fiber with that gel over it. It's freaking sweet. All right, so a gurney flap. Let's talk about it. Dan Gurney. Uh, my family's had a couple different Cougar 69 Eliminator. We've got one right now. We might pull back out for a project someday and do a resto mod build on that. Let me know if you're a Cougar fan in the comments below. The car, guys. The car Cougar. Uh, gurney flap actually adds on to the back of the spoiler on any car. Dan Gurney put those on back in 67, I believe it was. He, he had a car that they road raced, and he beat everybody's tail. He beat all the Mustangs. He beat everything. He didn't just add a gurney flap, but he named this after himself. He had some other arrow on that uh, Cougar. It was red with, I think, silver trim package on it. But this actually, from the best salmon I can tell, adds somewhere between 50 and 100 pounds of downforce. So when air comes over your car and hits your spoiler, it actually pushes the rear end of the car down, which gives you better traction in the rear. When you slap on, which we'll bolt this up in a minute, something that's about another inch and a quarter to an inch and a half tall, it catches more air and it's more aggressive, like just this little bit, just coming up an inch with something rigid like this does a huge amount of downforce or adds a huge amount of downforce and that makes a big difference in how much traction you have in the rear. Now, we do need to match this in the front. You don't wanna add a ton of arrow in the rear and not in the front. If you think about the GT500 track pack, the carbon fiber track pack, big wing in the back, it's tilted forward a little bit. That gives you a ton of downforce but they match it in the front with a bigger splitter that has that, that pulls more air into the front of the car and then around the car so that it adds downforce in the front as well. You gotta balance out the front and the back. Trigger alert, trigger alert. Oh, you set it down on the wrap. Set it on the wrap and I let it wobble. So this is your uh, GT500 wing on the 350, which is kind of funny, people call it that. Um, this actually came on GT350s in 2019, so uh, it beat it on, you know, this car had it before the 500 did. But anyway, um, if you've got one that has this type of spoiler on it, this carbon fiber piece is highly recommended. The Anderson Composites, it's around $600, but 
I think the factory one's gonna be like $400 or something. Not quite sure exactly what that costs, but if you're gonna spend that much money on something, might as well make it carbon fiber, guys. Um, it just takes four uh, bolts back here to take, uh, take loose, and then uh, we're gonna put the gurney flap on. So guys, this is a T20 Torx head screw. Um, had to reuse the factory ones, uh, which is this screw right here on the 500 when I put it on. We'll see if we have to reuse these on this one as well. So I had the same problem when I put this on the 500. Um, this is the screws that come from Anderson. You also get some metal washers that have some uh, foam protect and protection on the back to keep things from scratching. The screws they sent that are a little bit longer, which you actually do need because you're, you've got the thickness of this plus the thickness of your washer, they just, they don't fit, they, they're too small. So you have to reuse the, the uh, factory one. But as you can see, by the time you put this washer on and then have the thickness of the carbon fiber, you're only catching a couple threads, which is kind of, um, Janky. Janky on a, a car that can do 180. So um, we're going to look into finding some longer uh, screws and uh, putting those in just for um, so we can drive so, it so we can drive it the way we want to. <laughs> While Sam gets that ready, he's got two more screws to pop out. Guys, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. It helps us with YouTube's algorithm, algorithm, however you want to say it. Help the Miser Brothers out anyway. And go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Only 13% of the people that subscribe to our channel have the notification bell turned on. So you literally have to get on the app and hope that our video pops up. So go ahead and hit that bell so that you'll get a notification every time we upload. Um, I can't wait to get these outside and show you these colors on a bright sunny day. This thing hardly weighs anything at all. It just fits right there. I'll hold one for him right here. And then he's got his spot, he's lining up a hole. small foam washer on the back of it to protect the carbon or I guess just even have a better seal. <clears throat> Having these screws be too short does make it problematic. So you gotta push hard to get it to catch. Well, I'm not getting it to take right now. So when these are tight that's all that's gonna come through right now. Obviously. <laughs> I know we all, it's, I told <laughs> you only a couple threads. Um, it's the only way to get it on. We're gonna go run by Home Depot, find something better, uh, or order something off the internet. Um, but we're going to a car show this weekend with us on here. That's it, right. It, it'll hold up to I know 140 <laughs> on Zilla right over there with the same setup. It'll it'll go 140. So we just need to keep it under 140 headed to Knoxville. So I couldn't even get them to start on this one. I had a heck of a time. I put that one on at the uh, Ponies in the Smoky show. Um, I couldn't even get this one to start, so I just didn't use the washer that comes with it. It's a foam washer. As you can see, it's, I mean, it's a metal and a piece of foam, and I just can't even get it to start. So I'm gonna put these on, it's gonna catch a little better. We're gonna fi figure out a better way to attach these. I can't believe that this costs what it does and the hardware doesn't that comes with it doesn't work. And I it mean, they, always, they obviously know your factory wasn't gonna work perfectly. So they sent something else, but it's the wrong size. And it didn't fit a 500 or a 350, so it's not like we got it on the wrong car. It and doesn't work you know, either. Brad, what I'm thinking right now is uh, those screws may work perfect on a Anderson Composites uh, spoiler <laughs> that's carbon fiber, but it doesn't fit the factory one. So why would you make... It would just be for somebody changing it out to carbon, which yeah. is a lot of money for not any weight yeah. savings. Kind of silly. Look. Kind of silly to me. got all four in now we're gonna put the back row driver decal on the back of the flap which is really cool it's a good place to put it on the back of the car and then he came up with it at the show he had an extra one so we actually throw it on the front here as well on that flap and you can see it up there on the 500 it looks really good going down the road and then we need to put our graphic on the front so on the 500 we did find out if we put our graphics on the passenger side this way the windshield wiper won't hit it. 
so we need to get one on the 350 over here. Bronco's about to get some love. If you like the OBS 96 Bronco, let us know in the comments. We've got some, I'll give you guys a sneak peek. See these old clapped out chalky lights? And we've got all this kind of oxidized aluminum here. You've got some chrome on it. This right here is all beat up and pitted. These lights look terrible. There's moisture in them, but everything looks garbage. Everything's kind of dated and, and scruffy. All these lights and all this chrome is about to change. The Bronco is about to get a major, major update. And that ought to come out really, really soon. So yes, we used to be in the sign business. And so we were able to cut graphics. We kept the sign maker so we could make letters. So what we're doing is two different colors. And instead of printing graphics that is basically a white vinyl with whatever color you want on top of that vinyl we actually put the actual color of vinyl so that's red vinyl with the youtube logo and the word driver and then he'll come back with this white back road and have to get it in there just perfect and you guys be critical on him if he screws this up we're going to peel it off and do it again he's got looks like about 27 tries right there that he can mess up That looks pretty cool. It's not bad to use printed on graphics, but on a dark vehicle, on the side of the letter or the graphic itself, it's going to be white because that's what type of vinyl they print on. So with this, it's all red. If it was printed, even uh, like a lot of times when they cut it out, they'll miss it a little bit, and so you'll have little spots where white shows and everything so we just like do it right we actually don't have a printer so <laughs> we did all, all we, we don't print but this is still all we have is a plotter so um you know don't mess up Take that squidgy. The tape, the way this works, I know a lot of people are interested in it. When he peels that tape off, I'll show you. The tape is not as sticky as the backing on the letter. So the letter will stick to this piece and then the tape will leave the letter on, but it will peel off. So it's like a mask. It's actually less tacky than masking tape. Let me show them. It's like probably, a, would you say a third as sticky as yeah, masking tape? Yeah, a third. So that it'll leave the letter and then this will come off but you're able to place it with this and get it just right pretty sweet he's going to put one on the other side now and then on that window and we did have so shout out to harper in knoxville they've got like every brand it's awesome but we're going to take that off and clean this up just a little bit with the amazon specials this tag holder has silicone that will in, like basically wrap the whole tag up so this is what's up against the car it's not that i care about scratching the car it just keeps any vibration or rattling from sound system exhaust or anything from uh, making any noise and then it wraps silicone all the way around the front of the tag so it kind of cleans everything up we're going to throw one on here and i'll show you what it looks like here in just a second and then we'll do one on the 350 this is pretty clean but it's not as low profile so we'll throw that tag holder on there as well. How's Sam doing? Is it easy to do this upside down and backwards? No. It's uh, only to be done by professionals like myself. Or semi-professional YouTubers. Boom. Now the next challenge is, is the funny thing about the, the black or the white piece, you have to line it up against two sides and he's doing it upside down didn't you mess this up the first time at ponies and smokies you had to peel it off and redo it we edited that out if you're good you get more than one try What is it you're doing there? Just putting the tip down? Just the tip. 
he's actually pushing the tape down on both sides but not the letter test it out before he sticks it no air comes through the vinyl so you have to push the air bubbles out from the middle to the bottom and the top or you'll have a bubble if you got a bubble it's not the end of the world you can still force it out or pop it So we'll put a link to these in the description if you want to buy these. Um, when you go to put them on, there's these little slits in the what's the bottom because that's where you got some weep holes for water to actually get out. Otherwise, you could get water trapped behind the tag and up against the silicone and then see the top doesn't have them. So we'll pop these off. And I bet you this tag has cut into the wrap and it, it had cut into the paint the holder and the tag had cut into the paint before we wrapped it. Eh, not too bad. I don't see any, there's a little ripple there. So it just kind of cuts into it a little bit. Pop it out. It actually slides on there. So it's like a rubber for your tag. Hurry up, Brad. We ain't got all day. <laughs> this is the mod I can do by myself and not screw up. I might, I might screw it up. It's not on there yet. I, this is hard to even call a mod. All right, so we'll go in here. So now the tag can't cut into the vinyl and it can't make any noise back here. You slam the trunk, it can't bang. Like it's just. It's on there. It's like a protected part of the car now. I'll grab the other one and he's gonna put the graphics on the 350. Big graphics. Actually. I like to use a little application fluid on some stuff, on the glass especially. more forgiving. Just a little dusting. Without that fluid, he couldn't pick that back up. Switch it, man. The Wolf has a graphic on the driver's side and it looks really cool in a front quarter picture, but the blade hits it every time. We were on our second set of graphics, so we're gonna redo it, move it over here. And then Sam came up with the idea to add this little, uh, little YouTube symbol. It's made a huge difference because when people snap a photo, they know that logo. They know to go check out the channel. The applicator fluid. Sometimes you're gonna have to let it sit a minute once you get it wet, so. Uh, We'll let that sit a minute.
clean them up, get them outside, and show everybody what everything looks like. Both flaps on, graphics are looking good. They're fairly clean. We gotta get them cleaned up a little better for the show. It looks good having them all the same now with the flaps. I mean, get a ton of compliments on this from behind. Love that Sam came up with putting the YouTube symbol on there because they know to go look the channel up. That's pretty cool. Uh, show, them the, show them the graphics on the front. That really just set that off. And I will say something on this. On this car, we've got something planned right in here to make this thing just, just to set it off. I don't know if we'll be able to pull it off before the show. Epic's trying to, but even if they don't get it pulled off just in the next few days, we'll have something else to show you on this Shelby. In our last video, we sprayed Zilla down and I showed you what the ceramic coating looks like. We're gonna spray Kong down. It has got a ton of pollen on it right now and you'll be able to see how it pops when we throw some water on there in this direct sun. We'll do that in just a second. Comment down below, now that you've seen both out in the sun and it's same, same with the gurney flap and the graphics, which one do you like better, Kong or Zilla? Zilla or Kong? <laughs>